Romans chapter 5, 1 through 11, lesson 2. Let's focus on in on some of Romans 5 truths. Now we have, among other blessings, peace with God. 5 1. Being therefore justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Access to the many blessings afforded by grace. 5 2. Through whom we also have our access by faith into this grace in which we stand. We rejoice in hope of the glory of God. A hope that we will one day share fully in the glory of God. A hope that is refined by our trials and suffering here on earth. 5, 3, and 4. Not only this, but we also rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering works perseverance, and per perseverance proven character, and proven character hope. A hope for which we do not need to wait, but rather is with us in our time of need, poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. 5.5 five. And hope doesn't disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. It is when we are weak that we can be especially strong as we rely on Him. 5, 6, For while we were yet weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will hardly die for a righteous man, Yet perhaps for a righteous person someone would dare to die. But God commends his own love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Let us consider the depth of God's love. You and I were God's enemies, rebels and sinners. Yet, even while we were still sinners, still God's enemies, Christ died for us, all of us. 5.9 Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we will be saved from God's wrath through him. We have chosen God's way of salvation, all with God's help, of course. We have been justified by Christ's blood. 5.10 for if while we were enemies we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more being reconciled, we will be saved by his life. We were reconciled to God, brought back into a relationship with him. We are now hidden in Christ, awaiting the culmination of a sure salvation. 5.10 Not only so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. There is only one way. See John 14.6, Acts 4.12, and 1 John 5.12. The End of Romans 5, Lesson 2